can give up beliefs in God while not losing touch with a treasured heritage. Rotavava, one of the Tang villages located in north central part of Sri Lanka, which is a historical pillar of the Kolo Narua kingdom. Beliefs of goddess Pisobandara, who was the sister of God Minneri, embraced the souls of Rotavava people. Devarajakarya, the main function by the villagers held annually in order to show gratitude towards the gods they believe in, the goddess Pisobandara, the custodian of the village, who built the Kaudula tank, which helps the villagers in their livelihoods, the god Kadavara, the guardian of the villagers during all hardships, the god Pullayar, protect of the villagers from wild elephant, and the god Kataragama to protect villagers. Devala Kamitur, the organizing committee of this huge event, includes Gamarala, Kapu Mahatya, president of the committee, and the elders of the village. They gather and select the first Kemura Saturday after harvesting as a puja day. Each and every household in the village contribute to this event by providing rice, coconut, spices, kaum and beetle leaves as much as possible. Kadavara Thorana, used to offer puja to God Kadavara, is made by the owners of cattle with the hope of protecting their cattle. This will retain until the puja in next year. The previous night, all the villagers and guests are invited to arms from each and every household that votive to God. On the day of the puja, early in the morning, all the above households bring the prepared structures which represent the palace of King Mahasen to Devala princes in a Perahara. This palace consists of three stories which used to carry out the puja. The topmost tier is to keep a box of flowers, which the middle tier is to keep a box of kelm, and the bottom tier is to keep dry rations. Other things like sugar and vegetables are carried separately. Early in the morning, these structures are brought to the Devale princess and carried around the Devale and offered to Kapu Mahathya. Then Kapu Mahathya accepts the puja and offers them to gods and prays for the blessings. In the morning, men in the village prepare milk rice for the gods and they call it Rajahalia. Devadanya, the arms for the god is prepared by both men and women which includes rice, wood double curry and gansuri maldum because these are affordable and easy to find. After 12 noon, Kapu Mahathya and Gamarala take jewellery of god to the village tank and wash them. This is known as Nanamura Mangalya where women are not allowed to participate. After coming to Devalaya with the collaboration of all participants, Kapu Mahathya offers puja to gods, an offering to god Kadavara, six offerings to god Kataragama and three offerings for the goddess Pisobandara. Then 
Kapu Mahathir offers the sheaf of beetle leaves to the god Kataragama and goddess Piso Bandara, which is called Dakum. At the end of the puja, organizing committee offers arms to the participants according to the order. First, the arms are given to the organizing committee, secondly for the outsiders and finally for the villagers. These arms, which includes rice, wood apple curry, gangsuri maluma, are offered on a lotus leaf. These rituals strengthen the rural lives, bringing them prosperity and happiness throughout the way of life. By sharing sorrow, pain and asking for blessings to accomplish their dreams, they get a kind of relief which heals their souls from generation to generation.